Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are in the M36 Jackson. I still wanted to call it the Slugger there, which is what it was called years ago. But as you can see this time, we'll get right into things here. We, our mission is to cause damage exceeding four times the health points of our vehicle. Well, that is going to be a little bit difficult. And this is actually a 9.13 replay. We've finally caught up a little bit. Uh, I need to actually get more replays to show you guys. But uh, let's see here. So 590 times 4. We need to do a total of 3,600 uh, uh, wow, that's not the right number. 2,360 damage. So that is going to be really difficult to do in a tier 6 tank destroyer. It is possible. I've done it many times before. But now because it's my mission, I'll never ever get it. So, I'm not real sure what the best vehicle to do this in is either. I could do it on the 183, but that means I've got to do 8,000 damage, which I've done maybe once. Have I done that? Have I ever broken 8,000? Maybe not. I've done 7,000 something a few times, but I don't think I've ever broken 8,000. I could try in the E25, but then I've got to do about as much as I have to do in this, if not more. I forget how many health points it has, but, ooh, there's a Hellcat. Can we hit the Hellcat? He's a nice juicy target. And as you can see, we're in a platoon here with BJM and Bruiser, so that is great. And we are working on dominating this field because, well, we feel like if we go into town on these things, we're just going to get torn apart. We don't want to mess with the heavies. So we'll uh, work on their tank destroyers and their mediums that are hopefully going to come over here. And so far, it's been reasonably good luck. We've There's already two tanks down on their team. So let's see if we can make it 3 and 4 and 15. <laughs> Ooh, SC-100Y. Well, I don't have a shot on him. How about the Hellcat? Maybe. Not me. No, he's not going to do it. 100Y, I have no shot on you. What? <laughs> I just looped that shell right over top of that hill and bounced off of the, his armor. Okay, that's two amazing things. First, I was on the move, fired that shot, and somehow hit him. And then, I bounced off of SU-100Y. How does that happen? How do these two things... Whatever, whatever. That thing has no armor. That was lucky of his, uh, help him to uh, manage that. I must have hit the roof of his tank at a, a very high angle or something. And Oh, hi, Hellcat. Well, we're trading a shot there. Oh well, we've got about the same amount of damage into each other now. Let's see if we can find another victim. Let our team do some stuff. You need to keep an eye out to my right. I don't know if they have lines of sight through this corridor. This is my fourth time playing on this map. So, oh hi Churchill. There's a pull in my way. Thank you Churchill for moving over so I can <laughs> hit you. Uh, but I think the first two times I played on this map, it went absolutely horribly. I think they were both in the KV-4 which I have barely any battles in in the first place. So that doesn't help anything. But I think the third went all right. And this being the fourth, well, we're going to see if we can change that. Obviously, it might not be, must not be too bad if I'm making a video on it, right? Well, I guess we'll see. All right, so we are all communicating on TeamSpeak here. We're all talking to each other, and we're like, hey, let's uh, let's go into town here. We need to help these heavies out there falling. They are not going to last much longer. There's several OIs in town, an IS, T-29, KV-1 back there somewhere, and it looks like the field is pretty much clear. We just There's just that SU-100Y somewhere in there still. But uh, between our Stug 3G and our Nashorn, I hope that they can take care of them. And those big doors there, I think if you shoot them at least maybe a couple times, I don't know, I think they are destructible. Oh, I can't quite hit them. I thought I could because these guys are, but they're closer to the top of the hill. Alright, IS who we've determined has a smaller gun, or these guys have, so... Well, I missed. Alright, can we pick him off? Come on, okay. Well, there you go. I did nothing, but good job, guys. I've got three shots in so far. I think these guys all have more in. Uh, Bruiser's taking some hits in his Jackson. BJ and the Dicker Max over there is doing alright. And I'm worried when I cross over to this path on my left here is going to have a couple heavy tanks shooting down it. So I'm worried right now I'm going to get shot in the side if I progress any farther. But I see this Cromwell, he's going to come there, and I'm like, hey guys, this Cromwell's coming to the right. So, we prepare for him, and surprise! And he uses his repair kit, looks like, on his track, but it just was not quick enough. So, now, how do we take care of these two heavies? There's two OIs here. I don't want to get derped, thank you very much. And if they hit me, I'm going to assume that I'm dead. Oh, hi, artillery. You don't hit me either, please. So, chances are, at least one of us are going to die in this assault, but... We're going to see what we can do. Alright, well, there's one down. No damage taken. Where's the other one? I'm going to go this direction. We're going to try to get on both sides of him. If Bruiser over there or BJ over there can distract him while I come behind him, then that would be perfect. Or vice versa. 
He's not paying attention. He's paying attention to Bruiser. He needs to do this quickly before he kills him. Don't mess up. Make sure that shot penetrates. And it worked perfectly. And artillery is still trying. So let's stay behind this building for a second. Let's try to make him think that I'm going that direction. Hopefully I'm unspotted now and we're going to peek back out. That's something you can always do. That's a great tactic to do. If you're ever spotted and you start driving somewhere, and then when you get unspotted, turn around and drive back to where you just came from, they might think, oh yeah, he's, he's going around to the other flank. He's going around this hill and he's going to come up behind me. So they turn and they expect you to come up there and you come up right back where you just were and they're facing the wrong direction. And it's like, yeah, there you go. Take that. Alright, what do we have here now? We have a T-29. Bruiser has fallen. <laughs> Not good. There's a T-29 there. BJ's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, the SU-100 Y just showed up. Uh-oh. T-29. There's one free shot into him. But I'm not getting another free one now. I have his... <laughs> his, his undivided attention. And... Oh, this gun barrel is in my way. Why do people always die with their gun barrels in the way? So I'm trying to side scrape him. Trying to outplay him a little bit here. And right when I get a shot... BJ takes him out. So now I've got to get in there, though, and bail out BJ. He has taken a hit. Must have been from the 100Y. So let's get in there. I cannot survive a shot from him either, unless I get really lucky and it bounces. And, oh, crap. Track him. Track him. Good, I tracked him. Now he can't hit. Oh, crap. He uses repair kit. Now I've just accepted that I'm about dead. Oh, he hit my gun mantlet. I think that was my gun mantlet with a high explosive round and now I cannot reload him so we've got this <laughs> that was really lucky if he had an armor piercing round loaded I'm almost certain I would have been dead penetration would have done it the Jackson isn't known for its amazing armor so oh there's one shot into the M12 BJ finishes him off and look at that two more kills to get now we are at nine kills right now if we can get these other two, that's 11 kills between us for the platoon. That's not quite enough. We need 12 for a crucial contribution, and we can't get the brothers in arms because Bruiser only has two. But still, 11 kills would be pretty nice. And here's this KV-1 up here. Me and BJ are going to try to take him out. Both a little nervous about this. I'm saying, uh-oh. I look at him, and I think I'm being looked at. Nope, it's BJ. <laughs> oh, and our 11th kill got stolen from us. So that's only 10 kills from our platoon. Only. Only 10 kills. <laughs> I can't complain about that. That was pretty good. That was a fun game. As always, I enjoyed playing with this gang. And uh, a lot of the clan guys are a lot of fun to play with. And that is why I've been in the clan for so long. But thank you everyone for watching. I will see you next time. And no, we didn't complete our mission, sadly. Not quite. We were like one, maybe two penetrations away from actually completing it. So, boo. But anyways, bye-bye.